Hey, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. So we are heading back in the restroom today because we are gonna clean underneath the sink. So this right here, this bristle vacuum is a really, really good vacuum. Um, honestly, when I bought this a few years ago, it was $300, but it is very worth it. And we'll do another video later on about this vacuum because I just learned how to break it down. We literally just broke this whole bottom piece down. Like it didn't even look like a vacuum, but this is really, really clean now. As you can see, I've been using it, but it is super, super powerful. This is my second vacuum actually, so I had some extra pieces. I'm gonna dedicate this one to the bathroom specifically. So this is gonna be the piece that I'm gonna use and attempt to clean underneath the sink because you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment, but it is a really secluded area. So we're gonna pray in the name of Jesus that we can get this done. Meet me in the bathroom. All right, y'all, so this is what we're working with. Be sure to check out our recent video on how to replace the faucet. I don't understand how beautiful this looks down here. As you can see, we still got the same cleaning hands, maintenance love. Now, when we were down here cleaning, I noticed that this piece would move up and down, up and down. As you can see, I mean, it is like a small crack where stuff can get. So when I sweep, I try my hardest to put my broom underneath there to clean it out. But of course you can only get so much, but I always wonder like what's under here. So I noticed that it'll just move up and down and I'm like, okay. So I need y'all to tell me what's in there cause I honestly can't see it. Let's see. Oh, actually, I do get a good look. Okay, let's see. And honestly, this look like stuff since I've been living here. I remember that fake tattoo. <laughs> so as you can see, oatmeal, yeah, that ain't nothing but me. A good quarter under there. Yeah, this was all me. So it looks pretty clean under there. It just look like concrete. Don't look like nothing too bad that the vacuum can't pull up. What's that? Some paper, some wax. Mm-hmm. It's really good to see that there's not any bugs underneath. Is that a bug? I don't know. But as you can see, it's not so bad. So we're gonna take our vacuum and see if we can clean that out. So the way that this is going, it's going like flat like this. So it's not necessarily hitting the ground. Hmm. Let me see if I have another piece. we tried it so the problem with this is it's straight and it's just going straight over when really it needs to go down so with some extended research we'll figure how to get this i mean honestly i pretty much know that if you take off the hinges right here you'll be able to push it up and then also if you flip this up and scoot it back if you remove this part then you'll be able to you know push it up because this is a block and that is a block but honestly i'm not interested in doing all of that today we'll come back and do that on a later video because it's going to be interesting but it was worth the try but again we're not stopping there we're going to get under here clean it's just gonna i'm just gonna have to remove the doors i think that's the easiest thing to do remove the doors and then pull it up and then that way it'll be up enough to reach the ground or do y'all want to do that right now? Look at me. Because, like, no, because honestly, I really don't want to come back. And when this is done, it's done. So let's go ahead and just knock it out real quick. Because we got what we need right here. It's going to take a minute. I'm going to just try to remove the both of the bottom ones and we'll see what happens. I hope y'all can see that. Let me see. Oops. 
we trying to figure everything how to hold the phone up all right let me see if y'all can see it right here you should be able to hopefully you can i won't be able to tell until after this video but i wanted to just show you disconnecting the screws got that one out See what we got. See the door is off. Glory be to God. Oh, <laughs> all right, that's cool. That's cool. So you all know that these tiles is not like they're not like glued down or nothing. And we got these from the dollar store, so they're not the hardest. But for the aesthetics so under my sink, so I gotta look at that messed up brown part. We did it like that. I could put some glue down if I wanted to, but I'm not. So let's first remove them and ta da! It's exactly where we wanna be. Let's get it, man. Let's get it.
ladies and gentlemen this is what we have it looks absolutely amazing here I won't worry too much about like mopping and all of that I'll just leave this alone but it is really really clean down here I have to put pick this back up but yeah so I'm gonna put this back because I need both of my hands and then we'll put our towels back on and we're gonna be all set <laughs> 